What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay, my journey to 10,000 live listings. This is episode number one of 10, uh, 1K a what's day. What's up? What's up, everybody? And this is my, let me just check the microphone real quick and make sure that you guys can hear me. Sorry about that. I should have checked it before I started. Um, but the goal here for this new series is to list $1,000 a day on eBay and Poshmark. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because you don't need any systems. You don't need anything fancy to make money on eBay. And the goal of this is to help you guys make $100,000 on eBay. I want you to set your goals high so even if you fail, you can still fail your way to six figures, which is the purpose of my channel is to help you guys build some freedom from eBay. So starting with this, the goal is to list $1,000 a day on eBay and Poshmark and spend less than one third of that. So $333 is your daily spend. How much money you need to actually pull this off depends on your capital and how long it takes for you to get your money back. So if you're able to flip your stuff every single day, it'd be pretty easy. You only need $333 to buy it. You would sell for 1000. Hopefully your fees are less than 333 and you would net 333 every day. Now, for most of us, we can't flip all of our stuff in just one day, right? So it takes a little bit longer. I actually think you should have a more realistic time frame of like four months. So it is pretty capital intensive. That's 16 weeks times $300. So that's like 50K. Okay. So when people ask me, what's a realistic amount of money that I need in order to sell um, to make X amount of money? I always say I use a 25% sell through rate because I think that's conservative. Now, if you're a better reseller or you have some sales experience, you could be like rally roots and try to flip your stuff every single month, then you would need way less money. You would need 300 and or, um, 333 times 30, which is more like you know, 10, 12 grand. But you have to be really talented in order to sell your stuff every single month quickly. Usually you can't do that. So let's go ahead and start here with my Poshmark closet. Um, this is today, so I'm gonna go ahead and sort by just in. Okay, so the goal is to list 17 items a day at $60 profit. That's my goal. So in this episode, I'm going to live show you guys how I'm going to do this so that you can get an idea of what I do. I start on my phone, create a draft um, on eBay. I save the title and then I'm going to post it on the Poshmark directly because Poshmark has a far superior listing process. It's much easier to list directly on Poshmark without any breaks. But my process with eBay is I actually have to finish it on the computer, but I'll show you that in just a second. So these are the items that I just barely listed. I purchased things with the, the concept of trying to make $20 profit. Okay, that's why 17 items is $340 profit. So your job as a reseller, if you want to, to make six figures, is to buy and sell 17 items a day for $20 profit. You can literally turn off this channel, and just, just do that and you'll make six figures on eBay. That's it. 17 items a day at $20 profit. So I'll show you guys how I do it. This is when I usually pick up items. So we have this, um, this pair of Banana Republic jeans. You guys can assume that I paid less than one third for the item. And if the item is under 30 bucks, most likely I got it for free or a dollar. And I've been shopping at, I do thrift stores, garage sales. I do flea markets. I shop and source from a variety of different places, which I'll go over. As this series continues, I give you guys an idea more of where I buy stuff. But you can see here, I listed a pair of Banana Republic jeans, a used one, and a pair of new ones. You can see here the price difference is not that much different because a pair of jeans has a, a utility value. And also men's jeans sell for more money. I don't know if you guys know that. I have had very, very poor success selling jeans on Poshmark. So I'm just doing it to fill my store with a nice variety, but I'm not holding my breath. It's too saturated. I have much better luck selling jeans on eBay, as a lot of people will tell you. Shout out to Pittsburgh Mike. He sells a lot of jeans, and he said the same thing. So um, I thrifted these Von Dutch hats, if you guys remember this back in the day. Um, so I actually do not take cute photos um, for Poshmark. Um, and I'll give you an example of a cute photo later in my listings. I just take plain white background pictures because it's just uniform. I'm going to use it on both my systems, and it's just going to be easier. So um, these are the last 17 items that I posted. Um, two pairs of jeans, some hats. Um, they were much less than one third. I decided to combine them because I figure if someone's gonna want one, why wouldn't they want two? Um, 
when you look at my pricing, most likely I paid one third at the most for the item. So for these New Balance, I would have paid no more than $30 wholesale to get these items into my store if I'm gonna list them at 100. And so I'm looking to make at least $20 profit, but the basic goal is I'll spend more to make more on items. So that's 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 what I do there. So here we have some Converse, I think it's Com de Garçon. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Alexander Wang's brand. Um, so I bought this from a friend and um, it's a pair of chucks these are really cool so if you click in you can see um i try to do my best white on white is not the easiest to take pictures of but i try to take as many photos as i can to give the buyer confidence to buy right pictures of the size sole condition and then here um i i think they are in men's size six i actually should have measured these so that i could get a better idea um but i think they're size seven i actually listed these in the women's section because poshmark is mainly women so i am catering more to that person on eBay as you see when I list this a little bit later I'm actually gonna list it as in the men's section so it just depends on where you guys are are going um, here we have some Brooks pairs of shoes I'm buying a lot of these because there's a lot of clearance of this stuff around where I live so I'm buying up a lot of Brooks um, here we have some Tony Lama boots that I thrifted so I actually paid up for these boots I paid 20 bucks at the thrift store at the thrift stores in California, it's not that cheap. So you've got to really spend money to make money here. There are no shoes that are decent under $15 really if you go retail. So these boots should bring me some good money. Um, I sold these Sorel boots today for 100 bucks, and my cost definitely less than one third. But again, I'm not going to give you guys the exact numbers. Just going to let you know that I am paying one third or less usually. I'm not saying I don't make some bad buys once in a while. But that's my generic way of buying things so and the first one that i posted today was actually this purple pair of brooks so i have multiples on a lot of these pairs so i listed right around three thousand today in my poshmark store so you can see here i want to list one thousand a day here are my posh stats just started um almost a posh ambassador i should just um do like one of my uh, subscribers suggested and hit the crack pipe tonight and just knock this out because I've got 3,000 more community shares to do that. Probably not going to do that. I'm actually trying to drink less caffeine these days, but I need to do this community share thing to really get the Posh Ambassador. Um, and then also you can see here, um, so 23,577 listed. Um, I had a moderator remove listing because I didn't realize that um, when you're doing those those banner things, I did one using Chanel uh, because I wasn't sure how to set that up. And Chanel actually removed the listing saying that um, my banner was not a Chanel piece, which makes sense. So I had a piece removed, lesson learned. Um, I have one listing that was fraudulent that I still got paid for. So I actually have about $2,500 in sales already, um, 1.7 days to ship which is a little bit slow it took me a little bit um, of time to figure out how to do um, shipping so it's at 1.7 but that should go down to one as soon as I figure it out and then average ratings I have a perfect rating so far on 20 sales um, 2,000 shares but again Poshmark is not my main jam it's just something to get started but this is really easy to use because it'll tell you your total value um, Oh, great. So Marla is saying that they are women's. That's great. So I'll take a look at it and hopefully they are women's. But again, they look like a men's size six, but I will confirm. Again, it's only one size different, but I will make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Um, people ask me, should you share? Um, and my take on it is, of course, you should do exactly what the app suggests. Um, if you guys have this new feature, which is you can now offer, um, you can now send a private offer to your to the people who like your stuff. So let's see, this person liked this pair of Chucks, right? So I can actually go to that pair of Chucks on my phone, down here at the price drop, you can click price drop and send a private offer to this person. I think that's pretty cool, right? So you can go in here and I can say, oh, you like this pair of Chucks? How about 35 bucks off and I'll give you free shipping. And I'm, and I'm net $21 right here, which is great because eBay makes it super complicated to understand this part right here, but I'm trying to simplify it for you. So I'm just gonna do this as an example. I think I paid seven bucks for these chucks, so still more than double up. Not exactly where I wanna be, but I wanted to show you guys this feature. Not everybody has this, but I'm very new to Poshmark and I already have it, so I assume that by this point, most people have this process. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve my Poshmark closet, let me know. Um, but I'm just designing it to try to get around 10% to sell through each month. So right now I have 
Um, and I'm looking for 20% or more on eBay. So we have 23,577 listed. So I'm hoping for 100 to 200 bucks a day in sales. And today so far I've had um, 185, 220 bucks in sales on Poshmark. So pretty good, three pairs of shoes sold already. Um, and then again, these are just my public stores. I do have a bigger store. It's about three times as big as Loki Husky. And that store has a, a accompanying Poshmark that's the same. So that's my new process. But let's get into it because you guys are wondering what kind of stuff do you want to sell on eBay? Let's get into it. Um, so this is the first pair. This is a pair of shoes that I thrifted, right? So I'm going to list these at $29.99. Um, I have a very minimalist description, so gently used. Thanks for buying. Thanks for supporting small business. I have a little blurb set up, but I don't think that it matters. It's really just going to depend on um, what you do. I'm actually going to switch to a 695 uh, process or 699. Uh, 695 priority shipping and the reason why I'm doing that is I am just straight up copying Poshmark I believe this is a really good way to price your items and then I'm gonna just you know launch this so Hopefully it'll go through oh, item specifics are missing. So this, I got probably have to put low top Okay So I'm gonna launch a thousand dollars worth of listings with you guys each time I do this episode and the goal is to list three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars worth of stuff this year on eBay so I understand it's going to take a little bit more time for people who have less capital, but it's okay. Work your way up. Used is more profitable. New is easier. So just keep that in mind. If you have more money, you can spend more and just buy things that are undervalued and, and get, get more profit. But if you're just getting started, you may want to sell pre-owned. Um, so let's see. Here's another pair of Nana Republic jeans. Um, let's see here. This tag is C80. So you guys know I put in the description C8013. So this is going to print on the label. Um, it is the eighth week of the year. So this is how I keep track of how much I paid for the item. Um, I paid a dollar. Um, it's week number eight. And then I'm going to go here um, and go ahead and launch this. Let's see here. Um, 32 by 32, true to size. Thanks for your interest. Pretty minimalist. I do put some Easter eggs in here that are funny because it makes me laugh, but you can do whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to go in here into this new default of oh, 695 policy, which is actually zero. And I'm going to launch this bad boy. All right. Moving on to the next one. Um, I am now, actually, I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I have a secret. Um, to get you guys about 20% more. And I've been crushing Poshmark. Honestly, I get 20% more money than on uh, Poshmark than I do on eBay. eBay is just, you just don't get very much money for your items. It's super sad. Um, although things do sell. Um, let's see, so I paid it five bucks for these jeans. It's week number eight. Uh, these are 32 by 30. I just go ahead and go ahead and check this. And also, I don't do much listing myself. I do have um, help. So um, I can do by myself 17 listings every day, though. It's not that difficult. Okay, so, um, oh, I want to go back in here real quick and adjust these photos for you guys. So this is my standard photo, right? But you can see sometimes when you go in here, the photos aren't going to be that good, so you can edit them. Um, what I like to do is have this first photo be super crispy. It's already it's already pretty crispy, but if it wasn't crispy, I could go in here, click the contrast, adjust it a little bit to make it super white. And I just do that to get attention. And when people click in, you can see more. Like here's one that I, I messed up on. You can see the corner of the... Uh, canvas because I was being lazy. Um, but if you crop it and you have a pure white background, um, remember to click save only one time. If you click it twice, it's going to screw up. eBay will actually fill in the sides of the picture with white. Uh, if you want to go pure, pure white, you can turn the contrast up. I wouldn't really go past 20 or you're going to really mess with the color. But that does just give you guys an example of how you can make the picture super white if that's necessary. Um, but again, I'm going to try to list and show you guys the difference with my system, but it's basically you want to source, sell and adjust 
17 listings a day. So you want to go in. It's not good enough to just post it and forget it. You've got to go in and make sure that your, your listings are good. You can't just half-ass it. Uh, let's see here. All right, so this is interesting. I have two of these. Um, and they're actually in bin 80. Uh, w8. Okay, so I have two pairs of these. And one is size seven and one is size nine. And I just, just put that designation in the title to help me remember. So these are low tops. Let's see, where is the size? Um, color. I really don't like that the only option on these is multicolor. You can't select more than one color. That's kind of ridiculous, but it is eBay. So size seven. Um, I'm going to put, let's see, new box. Thanks for looking at my items. Have a great day. Okay, so down here, I'm going to go 79. Allow people to do best offers, sales tax. I'm going to go down here to my new default shipping, which is 695 that I stole from Poshmark. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this. It's in bin B80. So I'm going to launch this. And let's see here. Okay, so now I'm going to create similar because I have two. I actually have a size nine also. This is a way to hack um, listing a lot more by just buying new stuff and then just changing the size. So this is size nine, right? So I'm listing these at, what am I listing them at? 79. So that's 160 bucks worth of stuff listed in just a couple minutes. So that's going to help a lot. Um, someone is asking how long it takes to share each day. Um, I can show you how long it takes to share real quick. So, I mean, let's see right now there's a men's party going on. So if I go to my closet. These are both men's. So if you go edit next list, it's actually going to double share. It's going to share both in the party and to your following, right? So it just took about two seconds literally to share twice. So taking your entire closet would not take that long. So it just depends on, on how, how savvy you are with your phone. Um, it's going to be difficult for me because I will have around three to 5,000 Poshmark listings, which is pretty intense. Probably take three, four hours, but I'm not going to do that myself. I'm going to hire somebody else to do that. Um, okay, this is also B80. So um, I think that they're men's size six, but um, I will I will confirm. I'm going to list these as men's because I think that they're men's size six, but um, I will confirm. Euro size is through 36 and a half, but I'm oh, actually it's a C81. I'm glad that uh, glad that I had it double double uh, redundancy built in. So I had C81 here and C81 down here to confirm. Uh, I'm gonna list these. Hmm. I'm actually gonna look these up real quick because um, and this is good for you guys to know. Let's see. Uh, Converse. Big Garcon. Uh, let's see the white ones, one seventy nine. Those are high tops, low tops. There's a bit at a hundred bucks already. It says men, so everyone is listing these as men sneakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and list these as men. Uh, I'm gonna do. I might go a little bit higher. I go one ninety nine. Let people make offers, charge sales tax. Uh, go ahead and list it. All right, cool. All right, so now we're going to Von Dutch hats. Let's see, I think I paid three bucks for these each. So I actually did um, a combined listing, a bundle listing, so two different hats, right? I don't edit my photos, I just have four lights. If you guys are in my Patreon group or you really wanna know what, your, what my photo video is, you can email me. Um, I do charge 20 bucks for the video, but again, it's not that fancy, it's just good lighting. Um, see here blue I have to be careful because people can return stuff on eBay if you put blue and it's blue and white so just be careful new no tags two hats unworn um, go down here I'm actually gonna charge yeah I got 39 that's fine uh, list okay next we have so I use convert case um, so I'm gonna go to convertcase.net and I'm gonna change this title to um, capitalized case. 
because capitalized case is the standard format on eBay and it doesn't make it look like you're yelling. So um, I don't think this is vintage. I'm going to go Tony L Lama, um, black, Western, cowboy boots, dark brown. Um, 99 is the MSRP used dark brown. It's probably a little bit higher. Um, dark brown. Let's see here. And then where are these? They are. Uh, I actually forgot which bin these are in. So I'll have to go back and look later for the custom label. But I paid 20 bucks for them, and it's week number eight. So that gives me keep track of this. There's no UPC. Um, fantastic condition. Please see all photos. So with higher end boots, I always take a picture outside so that the picture is more natural looking. Um, you don't have to do this. It doesn't look as good as the white background, but that's actually what the boots look like. So just trying to give people an idea of what's accurate, just so I don't get any returns on stuff like this. They are extra white. I'm going to put possible elephant because somebody else with a similar style did that. And uh, I put here, I need some help identifying the material used. So people will definitely message me and say, look, bro, it's not elephant. It's actually Jaguar. And then I'll go in and I'll fix it. So I do everything good till canceled. Uh, 169 do I charge sales tax yes um, these are heavier so I'm gonna go ahead and put $15 for USPS priority on the shipping for this and I'm gonna go ahead and launch it so somebody will message me probably and say whatever these are but you can ask your buyers um, to get an idea of what's legit okay so Callaway Chrome golf balls one dozen these are in C86 got these for free um, and it's week number eight, so these are uh, golf balls. I could put the UPC, but it's not required, so I'll just get rid of that. One dozen uh, listed for $34.99, charge sales tax. I'm going to do free shipping on this because it's a very um, competitive category, golf balls. So these are actually one to two pounds. Okay, so we've got some golf balls that I got for free from participating in an event. I'm going to uh, copy this title and put it in the convert case to change it in the capitalized case because I hate all caps. And go back in here and paste it. Okay, so this is legit. Um, Liberated Mommy says the elephant is illegal to sell in the US. Well, let's find out. Um, I'm sure somebody will correct me quickly. It doesn't take that long for someone on eBay to let me know exactly what they are. So these golf balls should be listed. Great. Okay. Now we have what's pretty cool. I have a hard liquor dispenser. So I picked this up uh, from a restaurant for $100. So I looked at comps already. Uh, let's see. Brand new. Oh, actually, not brand new. I'm sorry. Gently used. No damage. Um, works perfectly. I tested it. With friends with a bottle of Patron and Hennessy. Is that how, um, I'm, I, it was actually Hennessy, but I don't know how to spell Hennessy, so I'm going to put um, Jack Daniels. Very cool. Chills the liquor before dispensing. Uh, local pickup is free in near Oakland. California. Okay, just trying to make it easy to sell this thing. It is going to cost a fortune to ship because it weighs 40 pounds. So pretty, pretty heavy. I'm going to do calculated um, shipping for this guy, 40 pounds. I may figure out a way to do it cheaper, but this thing is really heavy. Um, let's see here. Hopefully somebody in California picks it up. And um, let's see. Works great. No damage. Chills before dispensing and comps are around 400 i paid 100 bucks for it and i probably would take anything over 250 uh just depending oh wait uh let's go back here uh if i go to the category 
advertising oh that's interesting yeah and oh the the location is kitchen i paid 100 bucks for it and it's week number eight um yeah that's fine that's i want to list it in this category of um of bottles because i think that somebody will go in here and look all right let's check it out yeah this will probably go smart post uh, I thought you were saying smart post as in I'm smart the way I'm posting, but you meant the USPS service. So appreciate that. Let's see here. I don't know if it will work for this, but let's let's test it out. I, I actually put UPS ground. Um, or actually I put just ground in general. So hopefully somebody will make an offer on this guy. Pretty cool thing. Um, but now we've got some. Ooh, this is going to be fun. I have some mismatched shoes that I bought um, that I bought at a closeout. So let's see here. These shoes do not match, okay? So I'm actually gonna post this, starting it at a penny. Um, and I have a bunch of these. So I'm gonna try this out. These shoes do not match. They're at a penny. Um, I put in the title, mismatch, right? And then I put here, this is gonna go in a post office bin. Office bin number one. Um, I pay, I think, nine bucks for these. Um, let's see. Make sure to check the shoes are different sizes. So we'll see what these end at. But again, I got these for a really good deal um, because I purchased some other stuff from this guy. So you know, basically, you want to you want to win some and you lose some. I'll buy stuff that I break even on to get the good stuff. So this is something that he needed help moving. So when you when you find a supplier, you don't have to get a home run on every single item. In fact, if you're that type of person, people probably won't do business with you in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this 10-day auction. It's going to end on a Monday, but it gives me the visibility of two weekends. Uh, let's see here. I have an auction policy. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go $9.99 for shipping. That's real. Awesome. Another pair of mismatched post office. Bin number one, seven, oh, but nine. Number eight. All right, so let's go through here. So I made this picture right here with my finger to identify to let people know that um, just like it's it's a little bit different in size. So hopefully that'll draw attention. Uh, right is at 8.5, left is a 9.5. Please confirm before bidding. Just to let people know, like, don't bid on this if you don't understand the auction. So I also I also could separate these and sell them separately, but most people one foot is larger or smaller than the other. So hopefully I can find a person that matches. I'm actually going to edit this Adidas because I forgot to put in here um, which is which. I believe. Let's see here. Oh no, I didn't. Right is six, left is size seven. I'm just going to put this in the description right here. Okay. And then update. Okay, so business policies here. I gotta. Oh, I have to change it to the auction. Let's see. Great. So um, Duncan is saying end auctions at seven p.m. on a Sunday night. I do have auctions ending at Sunday night, but the highest day is actually Monday. So Monday will yield you more money than Sunday. But I get it. Either way, it's the same way. I'm getting two weekends. I'm getting two Mondays. So. Um, it just depends. Depends on what kind of stuff that you have, but Monday and Sunday night are both great days. Um, this is another post office in number one. So let's see. Have this all set up, and then let's see here. Well, oh wait, no, by now I'm auctioning these off because I just need them to get out of my get out of my way so I can get new stuff. Um, right here let's see which phone is best for photos that's a great question the best phone is an iphone se or six plus or higher has a 12 megapixel camera so in my opinion that is the best phone to use on an iphone um however you can do um you can use a droid which is just fine uh, so i have to remove this from the item description because they don't like putting pricing in there 
let's see auction so guys there are three skills that you need to make money on ebay one is sourcing one is listing and one is um, actually that's pretty much it just listing and shipping oh i'm sorry there's a third skill you have to be able to determine the market price correctly right so if you buy buy great and you list great and but your pricing is wrong you won't sell it so you need to make sure your listings are great you are taking the best photos that you can um this photo setup you can achieve the photos that i take right here which i'll show you right now you can do take photos like this with just a regular iphone se or higher um and i would say probably 20 bucks you can take photos like this with no lighting kit so it just depends on your system and the way that you set things up. I try not to give everything away for free on my channel. So please support, support my Patreon at patreon.com slash 10K on the Bay. My photo video is one of the things I give away in there. Um, let's see. Here's another one. Let's see. Someone's asking what's the lowest return. The lowest return is doubling my money. Post office box number one. Let's see, double. W eight. Oh wait, nine. W eight, which means week number eight, I paid eight bu nine bucks for them. Um, and then I'm gonna auction these off at a penny. Oh wait, it's gonna ask me to remove this dollar sign. Okay. Auction. And I wonder what these will go up to. My guess is I'll still double my money, even though um, these shoes are mismatched. In my opinion my professional opinion we will see okay hopefully these launch all right next one uh, another mismatch post office bin number one nine w8 i hope you guys can see that i have a little bit of skill not too much skill but a little bit of skill in building listings and it's just going to make it quick this i'm going to adjust a little bit and make a little bit more crispy and again, I don't mind if the first picture is overexposed because they're going to look at all the photos anyway if they're going to buy the item. So I'm trying to get their attention to come in. It is a dunk um, size six. Let's go ahead and go auction style. And again, these are things that I'm just launching. And I am actually going to list a lot more than um, 1,000 today. It's more like three to 4,000 listed today. But that's just because I got a lot of, um, of shoes to list. And shoes are really profitable. And um, but they just cost more money to set up. Let's see here. Duncan's asking how many listings I do per day between eighty and hundred. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, wait, let me just let me just double check that this went up as an auction. It did. Okay, so if you want to double check your work, you can go to newly listed and just see like the things I just posted with you guys are literally live. A lot of people will say that my sales are fake. So um, let's go ahead and check out how fake my sales are. So if you go to my items, right, and you click sold, right, you'll see only shows 38 items. And the 38 items that you guys see that are sold are really just the replenishable items because they will show up here until I delete the quantity when I sell out. So eventually this is going to show pretty much zero because I hide all my solds. So I just make it more difficult for people to buy the same stuff as me. That's why I don't share this as my big store. And also, I want to show you guys something interesting, which is, uh, let me click on my feedback really quick. There are 3,323 people who buy this store and don't buy anything. Okay, so this is why I don't share my big store, because if I were to share my big store, it would be a waste of my effort because the sell-through rate is not as good. So. This store has much worse sell-through rate than my other store. So for you guys, when you don't have a social media following and don't talk about your store, you should have higher converting traffic and eBay will like you more. So in my opinion, my results are below what you can achieve on your own because you won't have people who look at your stuff and not buy. So uh, do I do the photos first and save as a draft? Yes, uh, my photographer is doing that right now. So the process is he does the photographs, he drafts on his, on his phone, he, uh, he copies the title, he posts all the pictures in, then he goes to Poshmark, lists it there, because it takes a long time for eBay to load the photos, and on Poshmark, it's the opposite. Poshmark uploads the photos when you hit submit. On eBay, it uploads the photos right there and freezes you out of doing anything. So the way that eBay has it set up, I'm forced to do something in the meantime. So 
He launches it on Poshmark, goes back, fills up the rest of the listing, and then I go and double check it on the back end to make sure that the stuff is right, and then launch it. So there's a few different ways that I list. That's not the only way, but um, one of many ways that I list. Okay, here's a pair of shoes um, that I picked up. I'm gonna go um, $29.99. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this photo just a tad. Again, they are definitely overexposed. Okay, so when you overexpose your photos, you, in my opinion, you should include some photos that are not overexposed so people can see what they actually look like. I'm just doing this for vanity. When you click in here, you'll see the more natural photos. And this is not overpromising, in my opinion. This is sort of what they look like. So you don't you get pure white background in real life, so the photos never look as good as in, as in person. Hyper quickness. Oops. All right, C63. These are another pair of shoes that I got. Oh, it looks really bad. It's tough to do white on white, so this is just going to have to look ghetto. Brand new, no box. I'm going to go $29.99. We'll charge $6.95 for shipping. Watch this guy. Uh, all right, here's the last one. So we have another pair of jeans here. Let me just make sure this is legit and we'll launch it. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to crop the, um, the background that I was too lazy to do in the first place, which is a waste of time. Um, let's see, 34 by 34, let me just confirm, 34 by 34, B0020, nice, uh, I'm going to go 29.99, uh, 6.95 shipping, launch, okay, that's 17 items, guys, that is $1,000 on both Poshmark and eBay right there, although I have 171 drafts still that I'm going to go through after this video, so I am not done listing for the day, I'm going to continue to go. I just want to do a thousand dollars a day with you guys so you can see what it looks like to make six figures on ebay because a lot of people don't believe me so i might as well show you guys and there um it's just i don't really worry too much about what other people are saying but i do want you guys to have an opportunity to actually make 100k on ebay because it has helped me do whatever i want so if you guys can get to that stage i'm super happy um cheap photo setup you gotta join my Patreon, patreon.com slash 10k on the bay, and I'll hook you up. Uh, so you don't give a couple shipping options. Oh, I do. So in that policy, I have expedited shipping for $20 for most items. So overnight it to you for 20 bucks if it's light. Um, and then I have, I'm using the global ship, shipping program and ship direct. So I use both. Do I think posting by the season is smart? Um, of course, but things sell all year long. Cold cold weather stuff sells all year long. Um, warm weather stuff sells all year long. Let me see real quick. I can turn off this uh, screen share. Let me try to drag this over. Uh, okay, so uh, my favorite price number is twenty nine ninety nine because I get a lot of my stuff for close to free. So uh, I'm buying it at a lot of the thrift stores, and you guys know I, lo I love the flea market. And the flea market stuff costs ten bucks. That's really what it costs between five and ten bucks. So if you buy it for five and you list it for thirty bucks, there's your twenty dollar profit that you're looking for. Um, the more talented you are at buying, that makes this business a lot easier. Negotiating relationships, people will call you when they have certain stuff. That's the way to do it. Um, but again, buying stuff for five to ten and selling it for thirty to forty is the name of the game for a solo person. As you start hiring people and et cetera, your margins start to shrink. From what I have seen, um, international sales, um, you sell all other seasons all year. Yeah, yeah, I that, that's true. There's also different hemispheres. So depending on what you sell, I don't think you should list seasonal stuff only then. Uh, the only thing I would do is I would price more during that season. Um, as an example, wholesalers right now are selling winter stuff for less, but they're selling uh, spring stuff for more because it's about to come up. Yeah, those were literally drafts. Um, 
No, no, no. I launched all those. The 17 things that I did on this call are live. They're on my, my eBay right now if you guys want to check it out. But I am going to launch probably about another uh, probably another 100 tonight because uh, I'm feeling froggy. Let's see here. You can't figure out how to share on Poshmark. Uh, I can't. Sh like, that's really easy but i guess maybe not easy if you haven't started it so maybe let me share my screen again and show you um you should just let's see here okay let me see if you guys can see my screen so can you guys see my screen let me know if you can and please put in the chat where you guys are from and if you haven't hit the like button please hit the like button that would really help other people find this call but let me know if you can see it, and then I'll go ahead and show you um, how to share on Poshmark. So resale dude is wondering how you hide your sales. I have a video on that, uh, how to hide your sales. But basically, it's in your site preferences. You can click the wholesale option, and then people can't see your sales. OK, here we go. So this is how you share. Let's see if anyone, people are sharing my listing now. Let's see if anybody has made an offer. I think that the, the um, I think that the, it, the ability to sh to make an offer to people that like your stuff is extremely annoying. Um, I don't like that from the buying experience, but from a seller experience, it's great because you can spam the people who like your stuff. Okay, so this is how you do it. Um, you go to my closet, um, and there's a mail party going on right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go. You are um, Actually, let me slow down because maybe that's a little too fast. So you go to your closet. You click on the item. You go to this little sherry guy up on top. You click it. You can share to the party that's going on right now or my followers. You can do both and they'll count as two shares. You can also do this super hack and click edit next list and it will share to both the party and your followers. That's a crazy hack. That's what happens when um, you get into the system and you learn how to sell stuff. So people, I'm not going to do this for you. Like I can, I can only show you so much, but I get emails every day that are like, can you do it for me? And I can't do it for you. I don't know. I can't. And I barely have time to do it for myself. So again, just want to recap for the people who just joined. The goal of this new series is to list $1,000 a day on average for the whole year. That's 365,000 stuff listed. Eventually, I'll have at least $1,000 in sales in these two stores that I share publicly, even though there are a lot of people who follow these stores and never buy anything. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go in here. I wonder if I can show this to men's style. Oh, I can't because I put it as a female hat. I put I default everything to a, as to females in here, but you can see how fast I'm sharing my closet, right? So it doesn't take that long for me to share, honestly. Like um, if I were to really grind tonight, I think that I can crush it. And if you guys are going to start a closet, please use my name, Daily Refinement, to get so that I get a $5 coupon for making these videos for you guys for free. Um, you guys do pay with your time, though. I'm super generous. I'm super not generous. I am a little bit generous, but I appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, there are softwares that do that for you. The reason why I didn't do it is because I'm trying to understand why they recommend it, right? Before you sign up for a bot, figure out what your bot is doing, right? I was able to get $2,000 on sales in Poshmark my first month without cheating, right? So I guarantee you if I use the bot, I would have sold more stuff. But again, that's not the point because I want to know what a bot does. Uh, let's see. You broke the speed limit a bit to get home for a live. Awesome. Thank you, Gail, for showing up. We're just going over how my new system or this new series is about listing $1,000 a day on eBay. If you guys need really specific help, um, you can go to the description below. And Prince and I have made a course on eBay. It's about five hours. It's 300 bucks. It'll go over exactly how to ship, list, titles, all that good stuff for all the nuts and bolts. But again, you don't need to buy the course. You can just figure it out yourself. But I have probably 500 hours of videos on YouTube. It takes a while to go through all of that. I condensed it into five hours for you guys. Um, what's my opinion on selling dress pants on eBay? I like dress pants a lot more than jeans, in my opinion. That's why I don't talk about it that much on YouTube. I talk about jeans because it's already flooded, right? So I'm just trying my best to avoid people copying straight up every single thing in my store. But what can you really do? I mean, if you're going to be on YouTube, your sell-through rate is going to go down because people are going to um, copy. But like as far as sharing this stuff, 
it's pretty easy um again i do not have a bot if i had a bot i would already be a posh ambassador um it doesn't mean that i won't try one in the future but again i don't think it's necessary um you don't need it to be super successful on this Let's see what other questions people have do i still cut off at 4 p.m for the most part i am done after four um one of the reasons why I really, really like pants, I'll show you guys. Let me scroll down. I'll show you guys why I love pants. Uh, ooh, two offers. You guys are good luck. Um, yeah, this is why. Because you see how sexy my pants pictures are? Most people are too lazy to do those pictures. So my jeans look way better. Okay, so let's check this out. Not to toot my own horn, but let's go to Banana Republic. Jeans. 32 by 32 and let's see if my stuff pops up look at that both my pairs show up in the first four on poshmark okay so you see this picture right here we've got demi baguette she is using a stock photo okay so you see the stock photo right there i would rather buy from somebody who has the real photo in my opinion right because you can see but i'm dominating right now but i still probably won't sell these because jeans don't sell super well look at this ridiculous price 12 dollars for these jeans are you kidding me um when you sell an item on poshmark do i manually delete it from ebay yes i do uh manually delete but look look at the look at the competition these photos look like crap okay compared to mine right look at how much better i mean i'm just saying these photos i hate the w what did those pants look like on your body? You have no idea, right? They look horrible, right? This is the competition that I'm dealing with. It's it's amateur hour on Poshmark, amateur hour. So you guys definitely need to go in and crush, right? Let's see here. Oh my goodness, look at how look at how like look at this person, Hockey Monkey Forty Four. What is that? You can't. I that is one of the worst pictures I have ever seen. I have zero idea what that pair of jeans looks like. Um, let's look again. I like to be in categories where people suck. I don't really want to be in categories where everyone is the bomb, right? So, and again, I'm using this system to figure out what to sell. Okay, my competition is super weak without question. Everyone who's selling this pair of jeans, this one and this one are both mine. The photos are just like, oh man, it's just it's like taking candy from a baby. Look at look at the difference. Mine are for sure gonna sell first. Come on, uh, let's see here. So yeah, um, I don't like to compete. I like to dominate. So this is from Grant Car Grant Cardone. Somebody sent me that bracelet, so I appreciate whoever sent that. By the way, guys, if you send me something, please put your name. I can't even thank that person because they didn't put their name on the package. Anyway, guys, I'm going to run. I got a bunch of stuff to list. I'm going to list $1,000 a day for the rest of the year, and I'm going to post as much of it as I can so you guys can get an idea of what sells and what doesn't sell. But again, don't be weak. Don't be lazy. Actually, actually yeah, take it back. Just do what you're doing so that I can continue to crush you with my perfect white photos. Let's see. How do I get the white background? That's like asking Oscar De La Hoya to fight for free. You've got to pay me. So on patreon.com slash 10k on the bay or buy the course that Prince and I made. And we'll show you guys how to do that. Otherwise, hopefully I wish you many hundreds of hours of struggle like I had creating all these systems. I wish you a ton of struggle. Um, please like the video below um, and share this with anybody that you think will find it useful. Again, I will show you guys how to get $1,000 a day in sales. If you pay less than a third, one third extra will be there. Hopefully you guys crush it on eBay and Poshmark. And I do sell on other platforms too, but I've got three or two notifications right now and a bunch of stuff to ship. So I'll see you guys later.